I press on to another day. All the way around, because now it's dark. And now it's another day. Yeah? Yeah! Oh, no way, wow. dude. Yes! I just figured that all out. I just, I had the idea. As soon as I read this and it said Pilgrim's Path, and I knew that this was Pilgrim's Prayer, I can't believe I got it on the first try. <laughs> oh, dude, what's in the hidden room? Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kovish Groby, and welcome back to Whispers of a Machine. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Whispers of a Machine and other videos. Now, it's been a little while since I played this, so we just started day two, I believe, if I remember correctly. So, um, let's figure out how to play this again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we can do this. We got a stove. Maybe later. I'm not that. Yeah. Okay. No, I just got up. Nice big lemon. Yeah. Same stuff. Doesn't appear to be functional. Looks purely deck. Ah, oh, my head. Something is happening. Whoa. Amnesia. Inflict short-term memory loss on a close target. The person is confused and forgets what has occurred in the last few hours. The effect wears off after some time. Okay. So we got a new augment right here. Amnesia. Oh, drag and drop on target. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Uh, what do we have? A gun? Notebook? What do we have to do? Oh, we got everything is reset. I guess it depends on who we're talking to. So... I took him by surprise with this photo. I wanted to capture the real Alex, not the goofball posing for a picture. It's a bloody photograph of Carl and a young woman, taken fairly recently by the look of it. He's holding hands with the woman, but I can't discern her face. Too much damage to the photo. She's wearing a brass necklace. Could be relevant. A razor-sharp surgical scalpel. And then this is the book that we got from Maya's apartment. Creed of the Conduit. So, I may have missed out on an achievement at the end of the last day after I got into the apartment. I was supposed to leave and then take the scalpel or, oh, I did miss out. Um, the, the finger that we cut off of Carl for the scanner to get into the apartment. I was supposed to take that back and then go back to the apartment. But I thought I was going to be able to look at the apartment first and then go give the finger back. But after I looked at the apartment, it ended the day automatically. So I missed out on an achievement, which I will have to replay through the first day if I want to get. So let's, uh, let's get going. Agent England. Good. You're up. Morning, gentlemen. We were just going to see if you're awake. There's been a freak accident of sorts. It's probably best for you to see for yourself. The timing is quite suspicious, given the recent murders. All right. Who is the victim? Leonard Dahl, the head of our new recycling center. He was killed sometime during the night. In a most gruesome manner, too. Gabriel will accompany you to the site. Very well. Let's be on our way, then. Oh, but... Before you go, Agent, did you cut up one of the murder victims? Dr. Pearson is quite <laughs> upset with you. That's what I was just talking about. Uh, give me a break. I'm trying to solve a double homicide. Mr. Pearson clearly likes his corpse way too much. Sorry about that. Uh, I should have I should have made more effort to find another way. It was necessary. The doctor should prioritize the well-being of future murder victims over previous ones uh yeah it was necessary dr pearson should prioritize the well-being of future murder victims over previous ones <laughs> all right then but please keep that sort of behavior to a minimum your jurisdiction doesn't mean you can do whatever you please i'll show restraint in the future commissary let's go gabriel there was another way too but here we are have a look around. The man standing over there is our witness. Got it. I'll let you know if I need any help. Understood. I'll be here. 
I wonder if that guy's voice was a voice from like Fallout, like Fallout New Vegas or something. I don't know. I just I know it from somewhere, but I can't figure out and I didn't look it up. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to look at here. What can we even do again? Um, so we've got Maya's uh, footprint, boot print. Yeah, might as well look while we're looking. Okay, blade shape. All right, we're gonna have to look at the victim with the blade shape and see if it's the same blade. Carl's bio. Carl shouldn't be here because he's dead. Smart scan. We got anything? Anything at all? Anything at all? Anything? Anything? No. Okay, fine. Uh, let's just start looking at stuff. A control panel for this machine. Looks turned off. Turn it I on. I shouldn't mess around with that before I've talked to the witness. Okay, fine. These must provide power for the machine. Not sure which cable leads to what. This says the machine works by grinding down organics into smaller chunks oh, and then burning them to create biogas. <laughs> the control panel here can be used to retract the grinding gears and access the chamber, but the system waits for the latest batch to be incinerated first. Bio... what? So, I was thinking you could put bodies in there, but maybe you can put... I don't know. Big tube, please. Right here. Guess that's the intake for materials to be recycled. Okay. I shouldn't mess around with that before I've talked to the witness. About half filled with God knows what. Pretty stinky. You stinky. A few crates of different sizes. Maybe for transporting some of the recycled materials. Wow, there's lots of stuff in here. This thing is used to transport metals to the smelter. It's filled with various junk. Oh, is that a smelter? Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> oh no, this is... Oh yeah. So stuff comes in here, falls in the trolley, and then you roll it over here and put it in there? This conveyor belt sends metal objects down into the smelter. Okay, maybe this is a smelter. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I shouldn't mess around with that. Okay. A control panel for this machine. Leonard's bed. Nothing out of the ordinary. This is probably where Leonard handled all of the paperwork. Mostly history books and some fictional novels. Alright, we looked at everything. Let's turn this on and then let's talk to the guy. Thank God you're here. Len... Len... Slow down. Relax. You're safe. We're here to help. Start at the beginning. <sighs> okay. The big organics processor. I woke up late last night, heard it fire up. I live next door, so I got dressed and walked in... here. Leonard wasn't around, so I turned all the machines off. I went to look for him in his living quarters, but he wasn't there. I figured he was still out late with some of the guys and that the machines had sprung to life on their own somehow. I went back to bed and slept through the night. Didn't hear anything else. When I came back this morning to work just half an hour ago, Leonard was still gone. He's usually up and about way before my shift starts. I did a routine check of the organics processor and... and... that's when I noticed his... remains. In there. The victim is inside that machine? Yes. Could it have been an accident? I don't know. God, I, I can't get it out of my head. Please, try to calm down. Could it have been an accident? It could. Uh, maybe he fell down in the pipe uh, and, uh, and uh, was torn to shreds. Oh, God, poor Leonard. Okay, we got more stuff to talk to him about. Carl Oscarson was fatally stabbed by an unknown assailant in the Nordson workshop hall. Wait, how do we do this again? I have some more questions. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh... I should focus on things... Okay, fine. 
How does the organics processor work? No, don't make me think about that death trap. Thanks for the info, guy. It's no use. He's ha All right. Oh, he's panicked now. It, well, he was just anxious. Uh. Looks like the human remains are trapped behind the grinding gears. I don't think they can be moved manually. Oh, we're gonna have to turn this machine on. Okay. Here, let's look around. Shredded human male remains. Age inter... Postmortem. This clearly wasn't an accident then. It was a disposal of a murder victim. Oh. I should try to get access to the remains behind the grinder. Age indeterminate. Coagulation suggests post-mortem dismemberment. Uh, estimated time of death, five hours ago. DNA added to DNA vault stuff. Is it the same? It's probably the same. Shredded human remains. Okay. Alright, I bet if I do this, then I can rule out that all that's the same. Um, I'm not thinking we're going to find anything else in here. What about Maya's bio? Huh? 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 You, know, you never know. Alright, um... So, how about this guy now? Can I talk to this guy? I have some more questions. Okay. Um. So, tell me what you know about Leonard. He was my supervisor. I've been working for him for about a year now. Do you know anything about his private life? Ah, <sighs> he was kind of a quiet guy. He was strong as a horse. Fond of books, too. He liked books? What kinds? I don't know. All sorts. Maybe go check his room or something. I really didn't know him that well. I did check his room. There wasn't anything in there. Um, I don't think we can ask this guy anything else. I don't want to share that with him. Oh, God, come on. I don't think he'd be interested in that. Fine. Okay. That's all I need for the time being. All right. What if I give this guy amnesia? Will that help anything at all? So, he said to go check his room. Oh, now we have Leonard's, uh, DNA. Oh, ho. Uh, just... Oh, more. Okay. I mean, his fingerprints are going to be on everything because he works and lives here, right? I'm just looking to see if there is someone else's somewhere. Hmm. Or if there's, like, a secret. He's got a secret? Anywhere? Nothing? Nothing, nothing, nothing? Really? Come on. Is there no one else's DNA around here? Alright, let's uh... Let's look at this stuff again. Leonard's bed. Not okay. This is probably where Leonard... Okay. Mostly history books and some... Uh. Alright, what else? Um, so let's try this now that we've talked to the guy. Okay. Alright, looks like these are the materials last put into the smelter. Ooh. Various tools and lots of knives headed for recycling. <gasps> knives? Wait. Blade shape? Aha! 
Matching pattern. Wow. I think I just found the weapon that killed Carl and Maya. Hmm. No DNA or prints. So this knife must have been thoroughly cleaned. Okay. No? Okay, well that's interesting. Got the knife. Oh, dude. The weapon that killed Carl. Okay. This thing is used to transport metals to the smelter. It's filled with various junk. We can't look at it. All right, can we turn this thing on now? This looks broken right here. If I do that, the incinerator activates and it might destroy the remains. I'll need to figure out something else. Um. A control panel for this machine. Okay, what about this? What if we go in here and we use our super strength? Bam. No, the gears are stuck solid. My augmented strength won't be enough to move them. Okay, fine. This guy. Gabriel? Yes, ma'am? Have a look at this. It's the weapon used to kill Carl and Maya. Looks generic. We have hundreds of knives like that in town. Any prints or DNA on it? Nope, totally clean. Damn. Hopefully, it could still be helpful in some way. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? She may also go by the name Melinda. I don't know about Katarina, but Melinda? That's the name of the school teacher, I think. At least, that's what I heard the kids call her outside. Are you absolutely sure? Positive. As far as I know, she's the only Melinda in Nordsund. That's excellent news. If you see her, take her into custody immediately, and let your colleagues know to be on the lookout, too. Yes, ma'am. Hmm, we have a reason to go in the school now. Katarina, teacher. What can you tell me about yourself? No, Not like the no, comments. No, so, no, eight no, years. No, wow. no, yep. no, hmm. no. What do you know about Melinda, the school teacher? Not a lot. I've seen her around with the children, but that's about it. Okay, not helpful. What do you know about Leonard Dahl? Nothing really. I never got to talk to him much. Okay, also not helpful. So, it looks like Leonard's accident was a murder after all. Seems so, yeah. We have to catch this psycho before he strikes again. Agreed. Do you know how this big machine works? No idea, but there's some kind of label on it near the switches. Maybe that can help? Ah, I'll have a look. I already looked at it, not helpful. Um, okay. Okay, that's all for now. Roger that, ma'am. Okay, let's do this. Hey, hush now. Look into my eyes. I'll make the pain go away. I, uh, wait. Who are you? I'm Special Agent Vera England. I need to ask you a few questions. Okay, I, I'm not sure how I can help, but I'll try. Man, I'm sweating like a pig. Weird. Hmm, now we can ask him about him. So, tell me what you know about Leonard. He's my supervisor. Been working for him Relaxed. about a year. Not sure why he's not here this morning, actually. Do you know anything about his private life? Oh, uh, I guess he's a bit of a quiet guy. Strong as a horse. Kind of a bookworm, too. He's always reading on our breaks. He liked books? What kinds? I don't know, ma'am. Why are you asking me? Go find him. I'm sure he'd be happy to tell you. Hmm. Now we're getting somewhere. What can you tell me about Leonard's death? <gasps> Wait. Oh, what? crap. Leonard is dead? Oh. Now I remember. Oh, no. <laughs> God. No. Oops. Can I do this again? I, uh, wait, who are you? I'm Special Agent Vera England. I need to ask you a few questions. Okay, I, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, organics processor. How does the organics processor work? The materials are sent through a grinder to be broken down and then burned to make biogas for fuel. All right. Is there any way to access something that was sent through the machine? 
Well, the grinding thing can be retracted by using the control panel, but it waits for the latest batch to be fully incinerated first. So what if I need to get something out of there without it burning up? I suppose you could do that by disconnecting the incinerator. Oh. And how would I do that? Good thing I, I thought of that. I guess one way would be to cut off the power supply by unplugging the yellow cable over there by the entrance. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. We just didn't know it was the yellow cable. Okay. That's all I need for the time being. All right. I tried pulling it loose, but it's stuck in there pretty good. Okay, the yellow cable is disconnected now. Perfect. A control panel. I think that retracted the grinding gears. Oh yeah. Alright, shut it off. Before you go and stick your hand in there. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, that didn't, that's not helping. There was a small oh. key among the remains. Nice. It must have been in the victim's pocket. Ugh, this is quite a mess. I'm not equipped to deal with this. I'll have to ask Dr. Pearson to come here and gather the body parts. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we got a little key. Hey, Gabriel. Yeah? I've managed to secure the body. You're free to leave and get back to your other duties. The remains are in quite bad shape, so I think it's best if Dr. Pearson collects them. Roger that, ma'am. I think the doctor has some medical emergency this morning, but he should be able to take care of it today or tomorrow. Good. Tell him to bring it all to the morgue. Will do. I'll go find him right away. Uh, can I leave too? Doesn't look like this place is up and running today, so I think I'll go have a drink or something. I suppose. I'll call for you if I come up with any more questions. Today or tomorrow? It might be all the way until tomorrow before he gets here to clean it up? Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So now what? It's the key I found in the recycling center. Likely belonged to Leonard. He's got to have something in here, like in Mostly the Mostly history books and some... In the desk? This is probably where... In the bed? Leonard's bed. Dude, give me something here. Well, I don't see that there's anything else that I can do here. So, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh. Hi, honey. No, no. Wait, what? It wasn't a dream? I must be going crazy. The blue is messing with my head. Uh, that's one way to say hello. You doing okay there, darling? Not really, Alex. How can I help then? This is weird for me, too. I have no idea. It's so strange seeing you like this. Well, I'm here now. Maybe we should just try to make the best of it. I guess so. Great. So, uh, how are you doing? Really? Oh, you know, keeping it together somehow. I thought taking on this case would give me a chance to get away from everything. I get that. We went through a lot. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, I'll let you get back to the case. Let's talk later, all right? Okay. I must be losing my mind. Hmm. Ooh, new part of town. Oh, we haven't been here before. Recycling center, mural. A mural depicting some kind of abstract art. Hey there. Hi. Whoa, badass coat. Oh, thanks. Got it a week ago. Right on. You need to get some patches and stickers and shit for it, too. Give it some personality. I might just do that. So, you're some kind of artist. Yeah? What do you think? Reminds me of a fractal pattern. Looks like two flowers hugging. It does kind of look like two flowers hugging. It's gotta be a ball lightning? It's gotta be a 
be it's gotta be ball lightning dude uh looks like two flowers hugging ha huh. that's an interesting take oh what did I get I wish it would so I'm still right in the freaking center man I'll leave him to his art. Yeah, fine. Okay, what else is there? So, Mamir Road, Northwest. Uh, east? What's Northwest? Ooh. Ooh, broken windows. Not, Oops. Not sure what happened here, but it looks like old damage. Somebody swept up the glass on the outside, but didn't bother with actually repairing the windows. Maybe later. I don't feel an urge for a coffee break right now. Should I be like checking all this stuff like for brute, 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 boot prints? Where's Len Leonard live? Up here? I think that leads to a church of some kind. No reason to go up there at the moment. Doesn't look functional. There's probably a staircase somewhere. <laughs> what, this one? No, there's a um, a ladder. All right, well, I can't do anything here. So what is east? Ooh, junkyard. Some fairly advanced solar panels. Those alone should be capable of powering up several blocks. A light beacon marking the northern edge of the town disk. Not sure where that door leads. Oh, I guess you're gonna have to open it if you want to see. Is it Leonard's house? No. The junk piles extend some half a mile into the empty eastern part of town. Half a mile. I doubt they're being added to though. Nordson residents seem conscientious about recycling. Dude, you could recycle stuff for a half a mile to make gas. I don't think it works that way. Does it have to be bio stuff? I don't know. I don't have a reason to visit the junk heap right now. Oh, come on. We wanted to go to the junk heap. What's over here? Ah, okay, okay. So wait, go to the, go back to the junk heap. Now go that way, that way. And then... Mamir Road takes me out there. Okay, all right. So... Is the baby still in here? There's that red light again. Something must be wrong. Ah, uh, geez. Okay. Was it this the screen? Some kind of live No, nope. was it the screen? Mm, I don't remember how to do it. Um I don't remember the, the specific commands. Chamber open close status, okay. Chamber status. Nutrition level four Oh, the tank is nearly out of nutrients. I should keep an eye out for a replacement canister. Nutrient canister. Did she not tell anybody that there's a baby in here? Chamber open. Hi, baby. Okay. Chamber close. Nutrient canister. So there isn't one in here. Okay. Alright, uh, school. We haven't been in here yet either. Looks like a few kids left some of their clothes here. I don't need to rummage through that. How do you know? Looks disconnected. Probably not worth the energy. Pictures of teachers and staff decorate the wall. Some are from way back when the school was founded. 
No names anywhere, though. There are a number of women here who could be Katarina, but it's hard to be sure without something specific to go on. Plenty of outdoor activities planned for the children. Nothing out of the ordinary, but I doubt Katarina would hide anything in here. Too exposed. Various books and office supplies. I think the children grew these themselves. That's good, gives them some practical skills. I don't need to rummage through that. Drawings of different plants and trees, with close-ups of their nuts, leaves, and seeds. Close-up of their nuts. <laughs> uh, anything important in here? Okay. Empty. Guess there are no classes today. Of course there's no classes today. All right, let's get out of here. All right, see the dock. Oh, everybody's gone. I think that's for collect. I suppose that's where the dock. Anything important in here? One last waiting room. Appears to be. A no. I'll wash my hands when I. All right, fine. We'll get out of here. Wait, actually, let's check. Let's check here. Various medical. Anything I need? I guess not. Okay. This door was locked before. It's worth checking, I guess. No use. It's locked. Wait a second. I have a key. Doesn't fit. <sighs> worth a try all right so what are we doing nobody dude where is everybody uh, who's this guy Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. Can I be of assistance? I'm looking for a nutrient canister. Know where I can get my hands on one of those? No idea. But didn't Maya have some kind of machine in her apartment for that sort of thing? Oh yeah, you're right. What? There's a machine that makes them? Makes it? In her apartment? I was just there. Alright, I'm off. Good luck out there. Uh, okay. We'll go over there next. I had a few questions, Commissary. By all means. Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? She also calls herself Melinda. Sorry, I'm bad with names. Well, you did. Did you know Leonard Dahl? Not at all. I only first learned his name this morning. Are you familiar with the. Uh, yes, I clicked the wrong one. I can't. Click the wrong one? Okay. I learned that Leonard's death wasn't an accident. He was placed in that machine after his death. I suspected as much. Any leads on his killer? Some. I found the weapon that killed Carl and Maya in the recycling center, but it's clean. Hmm. So the murderer must have stashed it there after disposing of Leonard. Probably. It was placed in the metal recycler, so maybe the killer meant for it to get smelted down and destroyed. Sounds like a plausible theory. I'm looking for a nutrient canister. No I can get my hands on one of those. A nutrient what? Never mind. This weapon killed Carl and Maya. I found it in the recycling whoa, center. Whoa, whoa, Then all three <laughs> killings must be connected. Great work, Agent. We're one step closer to catching the killer. Any idea of what this opens? Nope. Not a clue. So she started talking very loud all of a sudden. All right, let's get, uh... Get out of here. That's all I needed. Very well. Anybody in jail? Nope. Uh, okay. Well, we didn't find anything else to do at the moment. Let's go back here and see if we can make a nutrient canister. Oh, wait. We're 
receptacle. Looks like something is missing here. What? Odd looking thing. No idea what it's for. Hey, Kata. Or should I anyhow? Oh, not, it's hard no, to figure the anyway. Beach. Stop, stop, stop. Shut up. We're in the wrong apartment. Okay. I forgot. So, no, they said Maya's apartment, which is over here. All right. Oh, can I talk to you? Hi there. I see that there's been some progress with the fallen power line. Yep. Feel free to head in now. Great. I'll do that later. Okay. All right. Maya's apartment. Uh... Some kind of airtight container. It's labeled nutrients. Okay. Mm. I don't think this is the nutrient canister I'm looking for. The receptacle on the womb tank was much smaller. This looks like some kind of dispenser, though. So if I find the right container, I might be able to refill it here. Oh, jeez. Where am I going to find the right container? Okay. Okay. So we can't do this yet. But what we can do is go in the museum. Ooh, robot. Wow, this thing must have been fearsome back in the day. <laughs> um, what was it from? Oh, from the Minotaur. Wow. That was it. I really expected more. <laughs> You'll have to go watch my Minotaur series if you don't know what that is a reference to. Looks like this is modeled from how the world looked pre-collapse. There's no crack caused by the Hyperloop failure, and the crater field is nowhere to be seen. Oh. Yeah, no. Uh, in my time, there is no crack from the Hyperloop failure. And um, the crater field, yeah, I haven't seen that around either. Ooh, that's where I live. Right? Right over there. Looks like this is modeled from how the world looked pre-collapse. Okay. Oh. Huh, okay. Whatever. No idea what this is. Must have been some kind of local thing. I remember reading about some military experiment gone haywire in these parts. Maybe this is it. Push the button. Push the button. I'm pretty sure these were flown autonomously, and that some famous world leader got killed by hackers who took control of her vehicle. A terrorist group claimed responsibility, and there was a bloody civil war. Is there an, oh, there's a button. Ooh, fancy. Due to the third decree, AI today is practically non-existent outside sanctioned laboratory conditions. Fringe terrorist groups such as the Conduit and N Protocol (EP) still try to resurrect AI, but have been successfully fought and nearly wiped out by authorities. Critics of the nano substance Blue claim that despite it lacking CPUs, it is a form of intelligent neural network warranted to be included in the Third Decree. Defenders of Blue tend to cite the Fourth Amendment, where transhumanism efforts in the form of human augmentation are declared legal. However, the Fourth Amendment was written before the discovery of Blue, when primitive mechanical and cybernetic implants were the only options for human augmentation. Hmm. A regeneration pod kept people healthy and energetic. Oh, I need one of those. Ooh, bubbles. <laughs> bubbles, bubbles. It's hard to think that most people had several of these in their homes once upon a time. Household robots. Uh, so there's two here, right? The human wave was a loose affiliation of political and religious movements with the supreme goal of eradicating AI. It is widely considered to be the largest single cause of the collapse. Post-collapse, the movement continued its activities to some extent up to 4AR, but gradually lost its ability to maintain any larger operations due to the extensive deglobalization. 
Over time, the subgroups of the human wave splintered back into their original factions. Some, having accomplished their goals, ceased to exist completely. Others, like the Church of Epos, Earth Preservation Orthodox Society, were formed to find a new place in a post-collapse world. Okay. Star map. It shows various star constellations. Apparently the ones we plan to explore with some incredible new rocket engine that they were about to finish when the collapse happened. Okay. Ooh, robots! Robots! Stars! Okay. Path of the Pilgrim. Hmm. Kind of an odd name for an exhibition about the collapse. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Pilgrim's Prayer. Oh, you know what? I gaze at the skies to... I strike down my foes. I am near my goal as I press on for another full day. Dude, these are clues to follow. To press buttons. Path of the Pilgrim. This facility has been deemed compliant with the Third Decree, Twelfth Amendment, on November 4th, 79 AR. And then when we do it right, this door is going to open, right? Right? It's not really there. You're not supposed to know it's there. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's exit to re make sure it reset, right? So let's go back in. And somebody said earlier that somebody went in here and then they went in after him. And then they weren't here. And then, so they turned around and left, and then the person that they followed in came out behind them. So they went in the secret door. Uh, it was Maya. Maya. Maya was in here. And we got the book from Maya, so she knows where the secret door is. I'm invigorated by my faith. Okay, what's what's faith? Well, let's read the, the rest of them. So... Gaze at the skies to ensure that the path is clear. So I'm thinking that the star map is here. I strike down my foes. That's the uh, the, the military robot. And near my goal, and I press on for another day. Near my goal, and I press on. For another day. I'm thinking that that's this one. We keep pressing it because the other side of the globe was dark, and this side of the globe is light, so we can go around to another day. So what is the faith one? Is it the robots? Invigorated. Oh, healing and energy. Okay, so let's go here. And then... Skies and foes. So, skies. Foes. And then, is that pointing to this? That I should do this next? I think it's... I press on... To another day. All the way around, because now it's dark. And now it's another day. Yeah? Yeah! Oh, no way, wow. dude. Yes! I just figured that all out. I just, I had the idea. As soon as I read this and it said Pilgrim's Path, and I knew that this was Pilgrim's Prayer, I can't believe I got it on the first try. <laughs> oh, dude, what's in the hidden room? Whoa! Wow, impressive lab. Awesome. There's got to be a whole bunch of third-degree infractions in this place. Maya must have conducted her secret illegal experiments here. I want to live in here. Alright, let's just start looking. Equations of some kind. I can't make sense of them. Use your augmented brain. Various technical drawings. Some of them look similar to the womb tank. Smells awful. This must have been here since Maya was killed. This place was set up to be private. 
makes sense given the circumstances. There were a couple of tapes here. I got them. Tape one, Maya's lab. Tape two. It's one of the tapes I found in Maya's secret lab. It's labeled Holdra. Oh, dude. It's one of the tapes I found in Maya's secret lab. It's dated about a year and a half ago. Holdra? This is Holdra. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's here. Oh, you know what? This is this is the answer to a puzzle. Wow, okay. Various tools for electronics and mechanical work. Dirty laundry, presumably Maya's. Seems like she made herself comfortable down here. Good. <gasps> I think this is what I need for the womb tank. Oh, canister. Hmm. Feels empty. Whatever. A big bucket filled with some kind of tubes. A few different machines for working with audio. Looks like I can play audio tapes here. Oh, okay, okay. Appears to be a wireless data reader of some kind. Hmm, this computer must require some kind of hardware key. Here's a key. I don't see how those <laughs> things work together. Okay. A wall filled with machines. There has to be plenty of illegal technology in here. I've seen stupider things than that work in these types of games. An electronic headset of some kind. Looks turned off. Turn it on. Cup. 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 Herbal tea. Maybe from Maya's garden upstairs. Okay, um, let's put some tapes in this thing. In a dream, I was summoned by the Acer. I had been chosen to create a new god, and her name was Holdra. She would be conjured in my mind, and the creed, at long last, would become manifest. I awoke in tears, and this vision has stuck with me ever since. This woman doesn't sound very sane. Next. An AI superintelligence would essentially be indistinguishable from a god. Infinite intelligence leads to infinite knowledge, and by extension, infinite power, illness, suffering. Even death itself could be turned into obsolete concepts. And what is a god, if not one who has reign over life and death? Yep, yeah, those are conduit ideas, all right. Okay. Well, let's take a look around this place. My smart scan seems to kind of suck recently. Leonard, you been in here? Maya, you been in here? Yep. Hmm, that specific tool. Okay. Anything else I need to know? How about boot prints? Have you been in here, boots? Blades? Uh, Carl? Carl, were you allowed in here? No? Okay. So we got this tool. Various tools for- Wait, I can't take that tool? Various tools for- Dude, lady, lady dude, I just told you. Wait, you just- There. No? Various to Okay, fine. Well, what else can I do in here? Is that it? Oh, 
was the deal with this? Hardware input. That combination. What does it need? So I need some. Oh, I need a key. Oh, a key. Okay. Um. All right. Well, let's see. Did we look at these? I think we did. Various technical drawings. Some of them. Oh, look like the bloom tank. Okay, let's get out of here. Um. Let's fill the canister. I guess. All right, all filled up. Oh, that was easy. I thought I was going to have to get like some mushrooms and some plants and then put them in the right order in the right amounts and then make it. <laughs> Can I go in here? No. No need to go back in. Looks like she's trying to fix something in this power box. Everything under control? Just a normal day of fixing one thing and breaking two. Uh, okay. Let's go feed the baby. Alright, baby, I'm back. Does this go in here? Alright, red light gone. Must have done the trick. Oh, perfect. Looks like things are working out okay for you in there. Hi, baby. Come up with a nickname. Stay professional and detached. No, nickname the baby. <laughs> Peanut, squirt, dynamo, shrimp, munchkin. Uh, squirt. Little, uh, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Huh. Squirt. Oh, shut up. Makes you think, doesn't it? Seeing a baby like this? Yeah. It reminds me of everything that happened. Before. Same here. But you know, it's not too late. It is for you, Alex. It is? Well, yeah. You're dead. I am, but you're not. You still have time to make up for what we lost. I don't know. I like that, but the wounds are still fresh. Without you, I can't. Having children is what I always wanted. Perhaps I could go at it alone. I was never mother material. I just tried to play the part because you needed it so badly. Uh, the wounds are still too fresh? I don't know. <clears throat> I'd like that, but the wounds are still fresh. I know. I hope you'll find a way to heal soon. Me too. So that's the guy. <sighs> Painful memories. That's the guy that's in this. I should resume my search for Katarina. Picture right here. Okay, so. Alright, I know we're over time. I didn't want to go this long. Um, but stuff just seems to keep falling in place. And it's just, it feels so good. So. <laughs> I wanted to look over here. And I wanted to look in here. Looks like an apartment building. I don't have any reason to go up there. Alright, someone's gonna live there, whether it's Leonard or Katarina. One of the two. Um. Robot guy. Hi, robot guy. Hi there, Walter. Morning, miss. How was your first night in town? Yeah, have a nice night's sleep. Well, I sure didn't. This numb nut forgot to unplug me, so I had to listen to his snoring for nine hours. I protest, Nissa. I hardly ever sleep for more than seven. Oh, wow. That makes it much less like torture. <laughs> I slept okay. The bed was a bit too soft for my taste, but I'll live. Glad to hear it. So, what can I do for you today? A bit too soft? Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I had a pillow top mattress for years and it was awesome and I loved it except I thought that it was hurting my back like just kind of the way that you sink into it kind of the heavy part of my body sinks into it so I thought it was hurting my back 
So I got a medium mattress? And now my shoulders hurt because I sleep on my side. Um, so, and I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's, so that's the problem I have. Mattresses are so expensive, I can't just, like, go get another one. So I'm kind of stuck with this one. I guess you heard what happened in the recycling center. Yeah, I don't know much about it. But man, people dropping dead left and right like this? It's getting real scary out there. What, Nissa doesn't have anything to say about that? Do you know where I can find the school teacher, Melinda? I'm not sure who that is. What does she look like? Light brown hair, fair skin, mid-twenties or so. Oh, uh, just my type. <laughs> They're all your type, Nissa. That's not true, Pops. Only women. And, well, some robots. Quiet, boy. She's not interested in your goddamn preferences. <clears throat> now, Agent, there's a lot of ladies like that in Nordson. A picture would certainly be helpful. I have one right here, but it's not much to look at. You weren't joking. I can't do much with this. Let me know if you find a better one. Fair enough. I will. So that's this picture with the blood. Okay. Did you know Leonard Dahl? A little. He came by every now and then, buying things for the recycling center. We've been talking about automating some of the work there. Yeah? Anything out of the ordinary about him? I wouldn't say so. He was a quiet, nice guy. A real shame what happened to him. Hmm. Ever see this key before? Nope. First time. It, uh, looks really nice. <laughs> okay. Nah, I don't want to scare the poor guy. I don't need to show him. I don't want to... Okay. I'm off. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye, police lady. Okay, let's see if I can find any similarities between any of these women and the picture I have. Oh, right here. No way. Same brass necklace. This has got to be her. So that's all I had to do. All right, I took the picture. Perhaps someone will recognize her. All I had to do was take the picture that I had here, the bloody one, and compare it to these. She had the same necklace on. A photo of Katarina, dated a few months back. I've been wandering around for at least 20 minutes. 25 minutes, maybe? <laughs> and that's all I had to do. And then... He asked for a picture of her. When we were just here before. Do you know this woman? Oh, her. I sometimes spot her off the beaten path, actually. You do? Where? By the junk heap. Dunno what business she's got there, but I notice her sometimes when I collect parts. She thinks nobody sees her, all sneaky and quick. But I've got keen eyes. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Walter. Alright, let's go do this real quick. Before we end the episode. Oh, hey. Looks like he's holding some kind of map. Hey, you want to go do something? I'm tired. Let's just hang out. You wouldn't be- Hey, kids. Uh, hey. Theo, that's the lady that Miss M- Shut up, Alicia. Now, wait a minute. Alicia, is it? You know Miss M? I, uh... Of course we do, ma'am. We're kids. She's our teacher. Yeah, we just know her from school and stuff. Right, so you haven't seen Miss M around today, have you? Uh-uh. Nope. Hmm. Well, I have a few questions for you. Oh, jeez. Do you know what happened yesterday to a man named Carl? My friend told me that somebody murdered him with a knife. I bet it was totally gross. I bet you wouldn't say that if you saw it for real, Theo. You'd just be sad. No, uh Yeah, huh? Just like when we found that dead bird. Shut up! That was different! Do you guys know Gabriel? Yeah, he's a cop. But he doesn't have a gun like you do. Policemen should have guns. 
My dad has like four of them, and he's just a baker, not a policeman. Hey, can I hold your gun, lady? <laughs> In your dreams, kiddo. So Katerina is your teacher, right? Nuh-uh. Our teacher's name is Melinda, but she prefers Miss M. You know, I need to find Miss M really badly. Do you know where she would go if she was ever in trouble? I don't know. We have no idea, man. What do you think of Commissary Anderson? He's okay, I guess. He came by the school once and talked about catching criminals and stuff. Yeah, that was fun. It sucks that there's no women in our police station, though. I noticed. But it's not like that in most places. In the city, it's almost 50-50. Really? Do you think I could be in the police one day? Like you? Sure, kid. Nothing's stopping you. Ha! Huh. When I become a policewoman, I'll arrest you all the time, Theo. Oh, dream on! Do you know who Stina Ruth is? Yeah. She works with my mom, the mayor. Stina is pretty cool. I like how she doesn't treat me like a kid. I see. How does your mom like working with Stina? I know they fight sometimes, but mom says that's why she likes having Stina around. She doesn't like people who always agree. Sounds like a good quality in a leader. I guess. So, did you guys ever hang out with Maya Strand? Hang out? No way. She didn't really like kids. She liked me sorta, but this one time, she got real angry with Alicia. Oh yeah? Why? I just wanted to try all her stupid stuff. Alicia was like running around and pressing all the buttons and Maya totally freaked out. That sucked. I was just messing around and she started yelling at me. Yeah, Maya used to be fun. When we were little, she'd talk about history and stuff. Now she only talks to herself, like a crazy lady. Not anymore. She's dead, Allie. Okay, whatever. Sorry, I guess. Do you guys know Walter? Yeah, he's the best. Nisa is my favorite. Mom even made a cute hat for him once. <laughs> yeah, and then Nisa said it looked like an old carpet had made some poo poo. He's so funny. What do you guys think of Dr. Pearson? He's kind of weird, but nice. Every time I see him, he teaches me something new about the human body. Yeah, he fixed my broken arm too. It's totally fine now. Look! Oh, seems to have healed up nicely. What happened? It totally wasn't my fault. I like climbing and went up my favorite path in the junk heap. But somebody had messed it up, so I slipped. Ouch. Better be more careful. <sighs> yeah, I know. Do you know Leonard Dahl? Who? He was... Never mind. Doesn't matter. Do you know what happened in the museum last week? Miss M told us in school. She almost cried. I could see tears in her eyes. My mom was totally freaked out that day. She had to work late again. Yeah? Why is that? I don't know. I guess she had to talk to the police and stuff. I doubt these kids know anything about that. Do you know what happened in the recycling center today? Uh-uh. Did somebody get hurt? My mom said it wouldn't happen again. Th they would get help from the city to get the bad guys. Yeah, uh, that's me. I'm the help. Wow, they sent a girl? Stop it, Theo. You always say stupid things and get us in trouble. No need. I'm sure they know who Katarina is. I don't think they'd be interested in that. All right. That's all I need, kids. Okay, bye. See ya. All right, let's head in here. Whoa. Well. Old shipping containers, neatly stacked. They look fairly intact. Maybe this area used to be a loading dock and they precede the junk heap itself. Cute outfit. Must have taken forever to knit. Old pre-collapse cars, likely stripped of all usable parts at this point. Old pre-collapse cars. I'm surprised I haven't seen many bicycles around. Should be a good mode of transportation around Nordsund. A big old combustion engine exhaust. You don't see many of those around these days. 
a refrigerator. I don't really feel like opening it for my nose's sake. I bet that refrigerator is a door into here or something. All right, let's see. Um, no? Maybe that's the door. Is there nothing? Is there nothing here? Are you kidding? Nothing. I mean, really. Well, what the crap, man? All right, you guys. Uh, I thought we were onto something there, but it turned out not very much. So I am actually I'm way out of time for today. So I'm going to call this one done. I was going to try to get the day finished in this episode because there's only four days to this game, I believe. So we're in day two right now. But it looks like I'm just going to have to end it right here. So uh, I'll have to stick this in somewhere because I already did an outro. And then I found something out. And then I started playing some more, so I don't know. Oh, we'll see how it all stacks up. So thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Whispers of a Machine and other videos. So thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Later, guys.